Hey, welcome back to my weekly video blog series. Today's March 31st and we are still quarantined. The shelter in place is still in full effect and I'm just trying to get as many videos done as possible. Before we jump into our topic today, I want to briefly talk about and, and recap what was discussed last week. Now, I talked about the idea that budgets are tight and that's true, it's a reality. I talked about the idea that CMOs are now demanding that their teams show a level of ROI and business value before they're reinvesting in their programs. I then transitioned into uh, measuring PR and kind of the baseline, what I would call elementary way to measure the impact that a brand is having in media coverage. And I talked about share of voice. It's that KPI that we often hear quite a bit amongst um, not just PR folks, but but everyone who is using some type of digital platform, maybe social media to um, engage with customers and um, drive awareness about their brand. And while measuring share of voice is I guess okay for beginners. Um, I did give a couple of ideas on how you can up level that metric to demonstrate a little bit more value than what's normally done. I talked about this idea of unique mentions. So pulling media coverage that just mention you and not competitors. And then when pulling competitor coverage, just the competitor and not you. I also talked about measuring exclusive coverage, meaning when your brand or company name is mentioned in the headline of the article versus within the body of a paragraph. And lastly, I talked about first building a media list. So it could be your top 25, 50, or 100 top media publications that you care about and measuring your share of voice against just those media publications and how a combination of, all, of each of those uh, three ideas um, is the best way to measure share of voice if share of voice is a metric that you're measuring. And today we're gonna talk about two things. We're gonna talk about share of conversation and share of coverage. Now it's the same concept, same methodology, but one looks at media and the other looks at social media. The best way to illustrate share of coverage is to do it with an example. Now, last week I talked about video conferencing and the software industry, companies like Zoom, GoToMeeting, and WebEx. And I'm gonna do the same thing today, but kind of do it differently as it relates to what we're talking about, which is share of coverage. Now, the first thing you wanna do in this situation is first build your taxonomy. And so you can see here, I have kind of three different sections, video conference, video conferencing, etc. I have virtual meetings, and meeting software. Now, all of these terms represent kind of the same thing. They represent some type of software you would use to collaborate and communicate with others through video. Now, the important thing to remember when using this approach is that when you're building your taxonomy and keywords, it needs to be as comprehensive and robust as possible because you don't want to miss out on any particular keywords or phrases that the media might use when referencing your kind of topic or category or industry. Now, I have two examples here. I have one where I am pulling pure mentions. Okay, so 1.3 million mentions of all of these keywords and phrases over the course of, let's just say, three months. Okay, below that, I have 650,000 articles with target keywords in the headline. Okay, that is what I would call exclusive coverage, but it's not really coverage about your business. It's coverage about the category of video conferencing. Now, this is very important because once you pull this coverage, you have to remind yourself that this is your entire data set. And that's why it's important that you make sure that you have all your taxonomies and all your keywords and phrases that they're bulletproof, right? You need to, cause you need to defend this data. So you need to make sure that you're gathering every piece of coverage possible about this topic. Now from that data set, what you're gonna wanna do is filter out keywords and phrases related to your business, your product, your competitor's business and their products, okay? So in this example, I have Zoom had 321,000 mentions in the last three months, and you can see the other examples, okay? Now again, these are mentions within the context of the article. So it could be at the top, it could be in the middle, or it could be at the very bottom of that article, and we don't really know what the context is unless you do an analysis of what they're saying. Now, in looking at exclusive coverage, you see that those numbers decline dramatically, right? And that's that's common, right? You're not gonna get that much coverage. Well, maybe if you're Zoom and you're kind of going through what we're going through today and just the fact that they are you know, dominating headlines everywhere, um, it might be the case, but in normal circumstances, you know, you would definitely see uh, a decrease in coverage as it relates to looking at exclusive exclusives versus pure mentions. So in this case, we have 22,000 mentions for Zoom and the numbers go on. And this is your share of coverage, right? Zoom has 58% share of coverage within the context of article mentions. And that number goes down dramatically when we're looking just at exclusives. This is not saying that Zoom gets 58% of all coverage related to video conferencing. It says that Zoom gets 58% of the coverage when measured against its competitors within the context of video conferencing. So there's a, there's a big 
difference in, in the way that you talk about that and the way that you present that on slides if you're doing so. Now, if you consider what I talked about last week in terms of unique mentions and exclusives, I would apply that same methodology as it relates to share of coverage. In my opinion, it paints a more accurate representation of uh, your unique coverage against your competitors. Plus, to me, it's another kind of measure, another data point that defines relevancy. If the media is talking about you and nobody else, that's better than if they're talking about you and everybody else, okay? Now, what's different here is if you're looking at share of voice, and as I said also last week, using a target media list, uh, the, the, the challenge with that is that you're not gonna find new opportunities, right? Because you're measuring your coverage against that finite set of, of media. In this case, you're pulling in every potential media publication that is writing about video conferencing. So it gives you the opportunity to find those new media publications that may have not been on your radar before. Um, so it's a great way to discover new media publications by, by looking at share of coverage this way. So I think I ran out of time today. Uh, originally, I was gonna talk about not just share of coverage, but share of conversation. Now it's the same principles, same model, same approach, but uh, in that case, we're looking at social media conversations. So I'm gonna talk about that next week, and I'm also gonna highlight this concept called share of audience attention. And it's kind of a deeper dive, more data-driven way to look at how relevant you are amongst specific audiences. So thank you again for tuning in. I appreciate your time today. Stay home, stay safe, and until then, I'll see you next time.